Westford, Massachusetts, a town where so many important things probably happen. With a population of over 20,000 people and approximately 1,000 decent people, Westford seems like the town where anyone would want to raise a family. Seems like. What was once a sleepy farming community has evolved into a bustling tech hub where the great minds of this fair town go to work on computer chips, routers, software, and coping with their disillusionment concerning the American dream. While their parents toil as working men and women, the children of Westford face an even more brutal sentence. Westford Academy, or colloquially known as the Devourer of Souls, is a competitive public school with a competitive private name. Students at Westford Academy are treated as some of the finest teachers in the country, as well as some of the most heinous students in administration. When students are not professing their hatred for their rival, Acton Boxborough, they can be found at the Friday night football game, smoking on the path behind the school, or exaggerating their own perceived self-importance. Speaking of which, this is the Westford Police Station, the home to the Westford Police Department. Don't drive too fast past the station, they hate that the most. Down the street from the police station is the Paris Center for the Arts, with such diverse offerings ranging from barn dances to cafe-style acoustic nights. The Paris Center for the Arts is known by Westford Academy students as the place where they heard you play with your crappy band. The people of Westford have one convenient choice for grocery shopping, Market Basket. Located in the commercial center, Market Basket is a perfect designation for anyone who likes to eat food. This is where Paul Revere's son went to school. He got bad grades and didn't learn shit. The residential areas of Westford vary greatly, with each neighborhood having its own special personality. This is Hitchin Post, where the residents thought that enough people needed to know the name that they got a sign. People in Hitchin Post devote most of their leisure time to making sure their neighbors' belongings do not make them feel inadequate. This is the black and white part of town. During the 1960s, some small-scale testing of napalm occurred in uninhabited areas of the town. When the testing concluded, contractors decided it would be a nice place to build expensive houses. In conclusion, Westford is really, really great. Tuh.